Hello everybody. Welcome back to my Lauren Scratch channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a number game. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go ahead and click the create button as usual. And then you're going to delete the cat sprite. You can use the cat sprite if you want, but if you don't want to, you can just exit out. So now we're going to pick another sprite. Uh, hmm, which sprite should I pick? How about we make a silly donut asking the question because that will be silly. No thanks. How about we do a fox? It'll be sitting and telling us. So this box will be sitting on the bottom of the screen and then asking us a question. We can pick a backdrop or maybe we can make our own backdrop like that um, backdrop. We do have to make a backdrop in Scratch with the Avery animation. So don't forget to check that out right after this video if you haven't watched it on my channel. So on my channel, if you subscribe, you'll see. Or maybe you can just click on the learn scratch icon with the cat on the scratch having the scratch thing so yeah that you can check that out after this video if you want but you don't have to okay let's go ahead and just make backdrop so instead you can name this blue sky three if you want you can name the backdrop okay now we're gonna um make a square we are going to make a square. What square should we make? How about we make that um, sky square? We're gonna make that sky square and then we are going to make, ooh, and I almost forgot, we forgot the outline, no outline. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the green grass. We're gonna make it green and put it. There we go, that's much better. Okay, now this box is supposed to be sitting somewhere on top of the grass and then it's gonna be asking the question. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now let's drag out a one green frog click block. And then we are actually gonna make two wearables in this. So um, now what you're gonna do is you are going to ask a question. How do you ask a question within Scratch? Well, you just need to go to the sensing category and then drag out a ask what's your name and wait um block and then you have to answer it when it asks that question see i'll show you if you answer, ask that question enter first number so enter first number and then put that in and uh, see when i click the flag it'll ask that question enter first number so you see that box actually asks the question. You just ask it and it appears as a box. So you're supposed to type it inside the box. So now we're gonna make them make the two wearables. So when you go to the wearables category, there'll be a wearable called make a wearable. It's not actually a wearable, but my wearable, if you just click on this box, it's gonna appear here. So we are going to be doing that. Now let's go ahead and uh, click on make a wearable and we're gonna name our wearable num1. It's like num is like a short form for a number. So it can be for all sprites, but you don't have to show it up because it kind of sounds a little bit annoying, but it's okay if you wanna show it up, uh, you can show it up. Just click at the tick here, like this little white box. So now we are going to drag out a set num1. It's not my wearable, let's just go to num1. And then we're going to set it to the answer. So the answer is going to be to answer. So now we're going to put it here under this block. So now what we're going to do, it's going to ask the second number so we're going to drag out another of those ask box if you want you can just do this duplicate and then duplicate that block and then enter second number you can just do second enter second number for those of you who just want to type it and get a new block uh i'm just doing it you don't have to do make a new block and do that stuff uh but yeah just for um, the beginners, 
the beginners. Okay, anyways, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the number two, number two. So we're gonna make another wearable called num two for all sports. Just do that. And then set num two, num two, to answer. And then put that there. Now it's gonna say something. What do you want the fox to say? Do you wanna say for two seconds? We'll probably go with two seconds. So go to the purple looks category and drag out a say hello for two seconds. If you want, you can just say hello. It doesn't matter whatever you pick. Now we are supposed to use an operator. So what is an operator? An operator is something when it operates something in the code and then that happens in the screen, the screen with this box and the backdrop. So we are going to be using the operator. So go to the operate green operator category and drag out this star thing. I don't know what that is. And then drag out both num1 and num2. Actually, this is uh, kind of like the tick, but if you drag out a num1 from that section, you will get a little bubble. So drag out num both num1 and num2, and then put them in their correct order. Now just put that in the hello section and then put that there. So let's try it. First number is one, two, now it's saying two. So that is how you can create your own number game. But if you want to just change the numbers, you can actually change it because I'm not really sure what you can do, what numbers will you put in there dot those boxes. So if you want, you can just comment on my project. It's like in scratch.mid.edu and then you can create an account if you haven't had one. So, um, you can do all that stuff. So uh, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.